Hi guys, Neil from Sirius here. I'm delighted to be joined by David Painter, the founder and owner of Painter Cricket. We're going to be reviewing the Painter Cricket footwear for 2022. So lots to talk about. Starting with the XPF P6 shoe, um, I'm looking at this straight away, we can see gonna be designed more for a bowler. Um, big fast bowler coming in. I can already see lots of support in the shoe. Extra strap in here, which is gonna probably help bind the foot into the shoe itself. Slightly higher ankle. Um, feels still quite lightweight. Um, lots of support. For the for, for anyone bowling quick in the back of the shoe, but yeah. David, g g give us uh, your sort of technical insight into this shoe, how you made it, yeah, what what we're really looking at in terms of the technical specs. So we'll start with the outsole, which is super important mm. for the fast bowl in particular for stability. Um, you know, you've got a seven four formation with the spikes, and what's really important with the outsole is we've got a stability plate which goes right through the forefoot. So um, that's, that's in there, is it? Yeah, right yeah. through the middle part of the, the shoe, mm -hmm. which basically stops this twisting. You know, as a fast bowler, you really want to lock that foot down yep. and not twist your ankle. Um, we move up into the midsole, which is a um, real high density midsole, which yep. again is for support because the main thing for a fast bowler is not to get injured, basically. You've got to stay fit. So you're trying to, at that point, when that fastball is running in, their front foot's landing in the crease, you're trying to stabilize the foot as much as you can exactly. with all that technology you're putting in the sole and coming up through the shoe. Yeah, Brilliant. which then locks up to the heel as well. So we've actually got an extended heel cup, which is super hard, mm. you know, because if your ankle's moving around, then, you know, yeah. you're going to be uncomfortable and it's going to, you know, hinder your performance. So we've extended this heel cup as well, which really ties your foot into the back of the shoe. Um, and then you go to the strap, which is also super important for a fast bowler. Mm. You know, you've got to get that foot locked down. And this is actually, we played around this strap so much about the positioning of the strap mm -hmm. um, because we had it too low and then we had it at a different angle, yeah. you know, but it's really got to, it's, all, it's got to put your foot down in the shoe, but it's also got to put it back in the shoe into the heel yeah. because you've got to alleviate that pressure on the, on the toe when you hit that floor. So this is probably the most technical product in your range, I would, would say, because of all those forces that you're trying to deal with. You're not just trying to build a cricket shoe for anyone to, to play, and you're really thinking about the fast bowler, what they need, when they're running in, yeah. the forces that they're going through that point in their individual element of bowling, which, yeah. which, is a, which is, as you said at the beginning, really tough thing to achieve and it takes is. a lot of um, R&D, I guess. So. Yeah. Uh, how, how did you how did you how do you go about trialing that? How do you when, when you when you're happy with what you think is a good shoe? How do you go yeah. about then making sure it does? Fit yeah, the job? I mean it's tough. It really is tough with these things. We've we've been through a lot of samples. To mm. be fair, you know yeah. we have bowlers go through them and say, oh, they're not you're not this, not that. They're not stable enough, or they blow out. Mm. So we had, we had to we've got a high explosive upper, which is a one piece upper, um, which obviously the less joints you've got, you know no yeah. weak points as such, yeah. so we've tried to uh, alleviate that. Um, the weight is obviously really important. You know, people want this all singing, all dancing shoe, but they want it super light, you yeah. know? So it's like, there's gotta be a little bit of sacrifice sometimes. I gotta admit, I, when I first picked the shoe up, I, I, I'm amazed how light that is for the amount of technical <clears> detail <throat> you've, you've got in there for a fast yeah. bowl and the support they're gonna get. So I think you've definitely achieved that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's also like a foam board, which is new. I don't know if you can see. I can you get. Have a play around. Yeah, so it's right underneath there, which is like a, a three mil foam board underneath the insole, which is again for comfort. You know, the, the, the yeah. balls need to be comfy. Yeah. So we've tried to do comfort, stability, durability, weight. You know, you've got to factor it all into this thing. Is that because our fast bowlers, they're, they're a precious commodity. They like they everything, are. don't they? They want everything. We've got they, to keep them they fit. They want to bowl downhill with the wind. Yeah. 
and they want comfort in their shoe. I think um, definitely in this shoe you've achieved it. Um, yeah. It's also comfortable as well. It's not, it's not just about the construction, it's about the fit and you can feel that that's comfortable uh, yeah. and light as well. So you've done yeah. well to achieve. And we think it looks good as that. well. I mean, we, we never take his eye off uh, the aesthetics as well. You know, it's got to look good. I think the branding's yeah. pretty cool. So, you yeah. know, we always try and make the player feel special in that regard. Yeah, and I think I think coming on to that, I think I really like the sort of funky colors. I think the orange, yeah. I've not seen anyone yet have black spikes in, in, the, in the sole there in, in going into the shoe. Um, I think the black and orange works really well. You've still got primarily a white shoe, so it's an understated but lovely touch of color throughout. Exactly. Um, and I think that stands out. You've also yeah. got that, you've got an extra hole here towards the back of the ankle. Yep. Um, we'd certainly suggest using that. A lot of people forget about that and don't use it, but mm -hmm. as a bowler, when there is a lot of force going through, um, it's worth taking those, those shoelaces into that final um, hole just to get a bit more support in the ankle. Absolutely. So, um, and there's a little trick actually, I don't know if you know, but if you, yeah. if you um, pierce that through and back under and then push it through the loop, to pull it, it really locks your foot back in there. It's just a different way to tie your laces, basically, but it's a little trick. Perfect, so we've been tying our laces as well <laughs> all, all this time, and actually what we need to do is that little trick from David there. So <laughs> as, as, a, as a fast bowler, you're definitely not gonna go wrong with this shoe. It's purpose-built for all you fast bowlers out there. It's lightweight, it's got all the extra construction that, that David's just talked about. It's gonna lock your foot in, you're gonna be stable. There's been a lot of research and development done in the shoe. Um, I expect to see quite a few, a few of these um, floating around cricket grounds over the yeah. end, over this summer and summers, summers beyond. Because technically, as a bowling shoe, it, it does everything you want it to do. Yeah. It, but but it also fits the bill of not being too cumbersome, too heavy, exactly. too bulky. Um, so I think for all you bowlers out there, that's a great option. Next up, we've got the XPF AR, also known as All Rounder. Um, so you probably know where we're going to go with for this one. Um, first thoughts, great shoe, really well built. I like I like the, the the leather all the way around it. We've got comfort already. I can feel it. Slightly higher ankle support. Looks like we've got quite a chunky yeah. sole in there. But I've got the man, main man here from Painter, so there's no point in me trying to give you the technical specs. I'm going to hand over to you, David. You tell us how you've built that shoe. What's in it for all rounders? Yeah. Any technical information you can give us yeah so this this shoes is it is similar to the bowling shoe um it's got a slightly lower neckline yeah um obviously for obvious reasons a bowler needs a slightly higher for ankle support um we've got a colored heel obviously on this one the outsole uh is the same as the bowling shoe um what is different is the density of the midsole so we've lowered okay. that slightly yeah. um it doesn't need to be as hard and as firm as the uh, bowling shoe for various reasons but these can you can ball in these you know they don't have a strap obviously so you don't have that feature but well i'm, guess, I'm guessing the slightly lower density in that part is because you're you're probably working on bowlers that aren't necessarily coming in 100 miles an exactly. hour it's probably your, your good seaman all rounder that bats as yeah. well and you gain a little bit more comfort back in that right. respect so okay. It's, it's that balance and getting it right for that type of player. Yeah. Um, you know, yes, it's an all-rounder shoe. That's why we call it the AR. So, you know, you can you can ball, seam in it. You can bat in it. I guess you could wicket keep in it. So it is the all-rounder shoe. Yeah. We've tried to reduce the weight in it for that reason. Yeah. Um, so it has got the one-piece um, TPU upper. Uh, so that's a seamless upper. It's on top of a textile um, base. Um, and then you've got um, the lining, padded lining inside, so it adds a little okay. bit of comfort inside the shoe as well. Good, good. Um, we can't gloss over the fact that um, I still love the orange and the black spikes. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that, 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 that is, I think, is a bit of a standout look of, of yours in probably yeah. the whole range, and I think they, they look they look pretty cool. Um, I think this re this shoe's really going to suit a. Probably more of a seeming all-rounder than a spinner. Yes, I think absolutely. you've probably got other shoes in your range that we'll talk about in a minute, more for maybe spinners and batters. Yep. Um, but if you're a seam bowler that bats as well, this is gonna be absolutely perfect for that. Yep. Um, still lightweight. I'm amazed how light your your range is considering the amount of quality and, and technical yep. you know, efforts you've gone to in, in these range. Mm. Um, so comfort plays a huge part. <clears throat> 
Um, you're on your feet all day as an all-rounder. You're probably involved in the game a lot more, so having a comfortable yeah. shoe is, is pretty key. So I think for all our seamers out there who bat as well, this is going to be probably a, a, an ideal piece of footwear for, for you guys. Um, so that's the XPF AR. Um, quality shoe. Yeah, no, it's a great shoe. Okay, so we're moving on to the XPF 22. Um, first impressions for me are um, almost like a bit more of a trainer, um, but highly specced trainer, which is gonna do lots for lots of people, I would imagine. Um, still got the really cool colorways. Um, Dave here from Painter is gonna give me a bit more help on the actual technical input though, and the technical info that's gone into the building of this shoe. So XPF 22. Yeah. Um, where, do we, yeah. where do we start with this? Yeah, so this, this, this is the, the batting shoe, what we call the batting shoe. I yep. guess batting, slow bowling, spinning. Yeah. You know, we've tried to make this as super lightweight as we can. Yeah. And, it, and it is so light, it's unbelievable. It's like you haven't got a shoe in your hand. Um, but we've got the stability in there. Again, we've got the, the one piece upper, yeah. the TPU. So it's super lightweight, all in one mold. Um, you've got your breathability with your air holes. Um, you have got a different, uh, completely different midsole and outsole to the all-rounder and, and the bowling shoe for obvious reasons. You don't need the bulkiness in yeah. this shoe. You know, yeah. it's got to be streamlined. Um, again, it, a bit more technical word, squidgy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, the, you've still got the traction. You've got, again, you've got the black studs, which is a cool feature. Um, but then you've got your cutout, so this is actually uh, EVA, so you, you, again, it's weight reduction. So what's so, EVA? People are going to say, what, what is EVA? What so EVA is the form, so this, okay. is, this is what EVA is, and, and a single density, so this is a single density EVA, yeah. which means it's all one density. You can get dual densities, which is um, part and part, yeah. um, which we do do in, in, in other shoes, but um, yeah. That's is that how you get the EVA. lightness into that shoe? Does that help with lightness or? Uh, density, not so much, it's more comfort. Okay. Yeah, based around comfort is density basically and stability. Yeah. So the stability of the shoe, this shoe doesn't need to be as stable as the bowling shoe, for example. So yeah. we can sacrifice a little bit of that. Yeah. Um, this for me was all about comfort, lightweight, um, and that snug feel towards your foot mm. to make that batter slow bowler yeah. perform. I mean, I, I, I mentioned there right at the beginning it felt and looked a bit more like a trainer. That's probably doing yes. it a total disservice. It's far better than a trainer. <laughs> um, and, and certainly from a batting point of view, if I was batting, um, I, you've, got, you've almost got that extra level of protection around the toe there. It's slightly yes. more dense in, in that bit there, you've isn't it? You've also got some inside as well. Yeah. So if you can feel there, you have got toe That's, protection. I mean, yeah. That is rock solid. Exactly, but, it, but it's comfy inside as well, the shoe. Yeah, so you, so as a batter, if you get one of those horrible ones on a, on a toe there, yeah. that's, that's going to be okay. Yeah. Um, definitely light, I mean, and definitely if you bowl and spin, it's going to be yeah. going to be a great shoe because you, it's just so light, you're not going to feel that exactly. on, your, on your feet. I actually tried a pair on earlier, um, and, and these are unbelievably comfortable. Um, you hardly know they're on your feet, and, and as a, if you're going to wear them all day, then this is going to be a great shoe for that batting spin yeah. bowler. Probably a keeper might get away yeah, with these as well, I, I would have yeah, thought. Um, perfect for a keeper. Now, we're sort of blessed in the XPF 22 style of shoe because we haven't just got one, we've actually got two. This one over here, the XPF 19, um, look, feel, other than colour, yeah. Very similar. Yeah. Are we talking? Is it? Are we, is it the same or different? Yeah, it's, or? it's the same shoe. But the, this, I mean, the both shoes had input from uh, Rashid Khan. I'm Brilliant. sure many people know who Rashid Khan it is. Um, yeah. So he, he had a lot of impact. We worked with him a lot on different things. He tried a lot of samples out for us. Mm. What he liked, what he didn't like, and then we tried to amend those. Um, the colorway obviously was his choice. He wanted to go down this route. So right. we got the Pantone right to suit him and the orange flare in the heel. Um, and then obviously we developed the 22 off the back of that. But this is the 19, which obviously resembles Rashid's number as well. So so there we go, guys. This is, this is where it all comes to life in the fact we've got Rashid Khan actually helping and developing and assisting the guys at Painter to de design, develop, you know, a world-class shoe for the modern day game. Yeah. Uh, we're talking one of the greatest spin bowlers at the moment out there, who's in conjunction with you, 
developed a shoe that's going to service him and everybody else out there. Um, I love the fact you've got it in two different colorways. It gives people a choice. Exactly. Um, I think the blue, and, the, and, and you mentioned the Pantone color, I think this blue works amazingly well with the orange. I think yep. that there's a color combination, it looks fantastic. You're getting all the same benefits in either shoe yep. um, of a fantastic uh, batting, and you could wear this as an all-rounder, yep. um, but probably more for your spinners. But even as yep. a seamer, I think you'd probably get away with wearing that to some degree. Um, so overall, you know, we've got two pairs now to choose from in, in, yeah, in, the in, that, range. in that range. Um, some of you will choose that on colour, we know. Um, it'd be interesting to see what, what, see who, who prefers the orange or who prefers the blue at the end of the season. But um, loads of great technical input there from David on this shoot. Brilliant to know it's been made um, in conjunction with a world-class player. So you know that if it's going to be suitable at that level of cricket for for Rashid, it's, it's going to be suitable for everyone watching this video, yeah. um, whether you're playing international cricket or down to club and school cricket this is going to be a, this is going to be a great shoe i think yeah. i think this will sell really well it's, yeah. the quality of the detail in it the lightness um fantastic shoe it's up to you you're going to choose orange or blue right team we've got the whole painter range here um what what i really like about the entire range it's, it's been designed developed by professional cricketers um you can clearly see it's a range across all of them of footwear that's designed specifically for cricket. They're not just necessarily shoes that, that have appeared. And as a challenger brand out there who've come into the market, it's clear that you've done your research, mm. done your homework, spent a lot of time um, with your knowledge and other players yeah. developing a full range. So from, from top to bottom, uh, we've got the XPF, um, P6. P6. Yeah, for the bowlers, for the Super fast bowlers. Super fast bowlers. Um, we've got the XPF ARs. Yeah. Good all rounder shoe. Uh, you've got some players in that as well already, haven't you? You've got Maya Boucher in there. Yeah. Um, down at the Vipers, and yeah. recently in the England team. Um, that's really going to suit seamers and batters. I think even as a batter, you'd be really comfortable in that. Yeah, um, you've just got a little bit more stability in that shoe. So. Okay, so that's good. And then we're down to the XPF 22s. Yeah. Um, fantastic shoe this is, isn't it? For, yeah. for you know, batters and probably spinners, keepers as well. Yeah. It's going to service a lot of people. Um, so there's something for everybody in the range. Love the colours. Love the funkiness of the orange going on. That's really good. Um, lots to choose from. If it was me personally, I'd probably go for um, the XPF 22s. Um, purely because I'm going to be probably batting more, yeah. Um, and I just love them. The, the lightweightness in there is yeah. amazing on my feet. You know, if you're in the field all day as well. Exactly. Um, you know, I've mentioned before in previous videos, most of us aren't going to be probably in a position where we can afford to have or want to have two pairs of shoes in our bag. So, uh, not being an out and out fast bowler, I'm going to be probably coming down more towards this end. Yeah, um, makes sense. Try to pair of those on. They they really are are comfortable. Um, but, I think I might have to go. I'm not sure for the blues or the oranges though. Um, <laughs> it's up to see you. I love the fact you've got Rashid Khan involved. Yeah. You know, that that's you know, it's gonna be great seeing him wear those this summer for you. Just um, to get his input on, on product yeah. is amazing to be honest. The guy of his stature and yeah. quality. You know, it's been exciting working with him, but So come and so really to finish off and wrap <clears throat> up this range, the XPF mm. range, people are gonna be asking, what what does XPF stand for? What? Yeah, so XPF actually stands for Experience Painter Fusion, which actually goes back to our um, strap line as a brand, which is Performance Multiplied. So what we're trying to do um, is use my knowledge, people like Rashid, the staff that work for me, um, and blend different elements together to create a better product to enhance the player's performance. So we're all about performance at Painter. So whatever we do in any product, we try and put that performance edge into it. Um, you know, and that and that's, could be materials, it could be density, it could be this, it could be that, it could be the, the lace um, mm -hmm. little trick, you yeah. know, and it's just having that knowledge inside uh, is, is so valuable and we can create that into a product. I think, you know, you've, you've heard it here, but look, for, certainly from my point of view, you, for those of you out there, and some of you might not have heard of Painter Cricket Shoes before, um, and, and that's fine. The reason you haven't is they've come into the market and they're trying to do things differently. They're trying to do things to actually make shoes for cricket and they've definitely achieved that. You're going to see 
Painter around for a long time moving forward because what they've done is they've taken that cricket knowledge, put it into an entire range of footwear from you know, fast bowling all the way through to all-rounders, batters, keepers. Yeah. There's something for everybody here. Um, it's high quality. It, it, it's in the right place, in the right marketplace um, for, for cricket footwear. Um, the technology you've got in all in all of these shoes is fantastic. Mm. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we're going to see a lot of painter footwear out there on, the, on cricket fields over these next few years, um, purely because it's a quality product. Exactly. It's all about quality. Yes, it's what we it's what we're about. You know, we won't we won't put out uh, an inferior product. And and I've mentioned before, you know, as cricketers, you spend a lot of time on your feet. So one piece of equipment that's often neglected is footwear. Yeah. It's worth investing a bit more money in what you're going to be putting on your feet because it's going to last and it's going to add to that level of performance, particularly from a comfort point of view, but certainly from a technical cricket point of view. Um, Dave, I think fantastic, great range. We look forward to, uh, to having it in our stores and online and I'm, and I'm sure it's going to be very popular with people out there for, for 2022 and beyond. You can shop the full painter range of cricket footwear at seriouscricket.co.uk. If you've liked this video, give us a like. If you want to subscribe to hear more about upcoming videos that we've got, got moving forward, subscribe just down there.